The reason I'm here is that nobody else is paying attention to this. The southern border is a big deal. We should be paying attention to it. But nobody else, major presidential candidates have come here, nobody in the media, and nobody in either political party. What, about enough fentanyl cross the U.S.-Canada border for enough to kill, I think, over 3 million Americans? We're talking 14 pounds plus in total. But that's where the puck is going. They're not going to be jumping these barbed wires on this fence. Of course not. Hiking trail. I haven't taken a vacation on the campaign trail in a while, but this is the closest thing I've had to it. It's a beautiful hiking trail. There's the part that you're not supposed to go past over there, but somehow the hiking trail doesn't count. <laughs> As though you're here, right? We have the barbed wire fence surrounding this area. Now, now, now track with me. Here's the hiking trail. It goes all the way to Canada. And then here's all of the area without any fence in front of it goes behind those beautiful mountains down to a stream over there, maximum 10 yards, shallow stream, that you're able to cross. So if you want to cross the border legally, you come here, wait in line or whatever on a day. We're here on a Saturday, so there's, no, there's, there's not a traffic day. You can come right on in. But let's say you don't want to do it that way for whatever reason. Maybe you're Brazilian ex-military and you've killed 10 people and you want to get into this country illegally. Maybe you're actually somebody who's smuggling more people in this country. You think they're going to come where the barbed wire fence is? I don't think so. You might take the more, literally more scenic route, the hiking trail, come back around, and then you cross that street. Little hike up there, come back around. It might be maybe you're a little worked up a sweat, cool off a little bit in the river. It's game over. So I get it why people who can't make it across the southern border are bothering to do it here. It's frankly a lot easier. Part of me just says we would be better off not having this at all. Right, like what is the point of this? In some ways, like coming here makes me think, and I respect the people who work here. These are good individual people, but I'm thinking about as an institution. It would just be better off and more honest if we didn't have this whole barbed wire charade in the first place, it's like a Soviet Potemkin village. It's designed to project an image of something that isn't real.